Welcome everyone to our weekly bulletin here from Great Yarmouth. Last week I was standing at the other end of this street at the quiet end, the reflective end. And this week I've come down to the opposite end of the street where the pleasure beat is situated. So if you fancy a week's holiday or a day out, then come and join us here at the Pleasure Beach. It's closed at the moment, so there's nothing to show you, but you will perhaps think about what can I do when I get there besides having a hot dog or a burger or ice cream? Well, I, for one, am looking forward to trying the 4D cinema. I have never been in one of those before. But I don't know much about the Pleasure Beach, so I'm now going to introduce you to Mr. Paul Hubbard. He is a lovely gentleman that works here during the summer season, so you can come down and see him. So, Paul, what can you tell me about rides that are suitable for little children, perhaps up to the age of about five years of, of, of age? We've got various rides, but uh, two that stand out are the yo-yos and the raft ride. Brilliant. And what about my children if they're a little bit older? What would you recommend for them? Uh, we've got a fun factory with moving floorboards and we've got dodgems. They sound brilliant. And what about if I'm a thrill seeker and I want something that's going to frighten me a little bit? So we've got our wonderful historic roller coaster, the, which is the oldest surviving one in the world. We also have the Sky Drop and the Family Star. And what's the family star? What sort of ride is that, Paul? It's a smaller version of the roller coaster. It kind of swirls you around a track. Oh, that sounds a little bit too much for me. <laughs> and what else can we do if we come to the Pleasure Beach this summer? So you can come and um, we have various uh, events going on in the summer. We have live bands. We have Coastal Cabana on Saturday nights during August. And at the very end of the season, we have Halloween Fright Night where members of staff, if they wish, can dress up in Halloween costumes. And would you say it's a, a relatively expensive day out or is it reasonably priced? It's very good for money and this year we are reverting back to the old system of wristbands and a fun card but there will also be a non-rider fee. And would you recommend it to anyone coming down here for the day? Absolutely 100%. That is absolutely brilliant. So as you can see, I don't know if you can see through the gates, some of the rides that we have here down at the Pleasure Beach. And Paul recommends that you come and visit him as well. So if you do come down, don't forget to say hello to Paul, introduce yourselves to him and introduce yourselves to me as well. Oh, and don't forget Leo the Lion. He is a very, very friendly lion who would love to meet you and your children. And I'm sure he would be happy to post, pose and have his photo taken with you. So please don't be a stranger. Come to Great Yarmouth this year and try out the delights of the wonderful family run Pleasure Beach. Bye for now.